Hi guys, Steph here. Right, what we got for you today? There we go. That's what we've got for you today. A lovely Parker fountain pen. As you can see by the clip, very, very recognisable. So what we have here is a Parker Dufold AF, or for you people that don't know, the aluminium filler. So it's actually a aluminium button filler, which we'll show you in a moment. Now, the Parker Dufold AFs, this particular one, I am dating nice and simply 1948. It's actually one of the earlier AF models, which again, we'll tell you why in a moment. But first of all, the size of the pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel, around about 131 millimeters capped. Around the diameter of the barrel, it's a nice 12 millimeters in diameter. Comes with gold fill trim. You can see, first of all, we've got the um, the very recognisable sort of chevron patterned cap band to the bottom of the cap there. Let's give you another little angle of it. Okay, so there's the cap band with these chevron patterns to it. And as you just saw there, we've got the very recognisable Parker arrow clip. And to the very top, we've got this button to the very top of the cap. Now, although in the video here, this pen may look as if it's a black fountain pen. It's not. It's actually, it's actually a chocolate brown colour. So it's a chocolate brown Parker Dufold. Now, let's take you to the barrel imprint. And what you'll see there, it says Parker do fold and then in the middle it has the registered sorry registered trademark and underneath we've got made in England let's give you another another view of it okay so Parker do fold this one being made in England all in all superb pens very robust excellent everyday writer fountain pens a, a, a superb no-nonsense fountain pen came to me a little bit tired we've worked on it restored it put a new sack in it etc and everything should be hunky-dory with it but as you can see in absolutely stunning condition now as we mentioned earlier it's a button filler which means we simply turn this blind cap to the end of the barrel here and there we go now some of you people now well you'll be looking at this button here and saying all oh, right um it's actually a gold or a brass colored button i thought there were you know a sort of an aluminium color well yes you're quite right um normally these buttons here a well, they're, they're actually an aluminium. This is still an aluminium button. The only difference being, as you can see, it's been an anodized, I think that's the right word, <laughs> um, in this sort of brass or gold color. Now, why they did that, to be quite honest with you, I've no idea. Maybe it was just for um, sort of visual purposes. I don't know but what I do know is the fact that it's a rather unusual gold coloured or brass coloured button fill it actually indicates to us that it's actually an earlier model because this this particular colour in this button um, was from the earlier Dufold AF range let's unscrew the cap for you as we always do Let's give you the customary twirls of the pen to show you the different angles. Okay, let's pop the cap back down and let's take you up to this section there. I'm hoping you can actually see that the section looks slightly darker than the barrel itself because the section on the pen is actually black 
and as we've just mentioned the barrel itself is a chocolate brown colour. You can see the section, quite a small section, slightly concave, little ridge towards the nib and then we take you up to the nib like so. Let's keep it still for you and you'll see it says Parker Dufold 14 carat pen and then to the very bottom the letter N. And again for you people that don't watch my films regular the N relates to the New Haven factory. So well, where that's where Parker made these pens in their New Haven factory. Let's give you a sideways view like so. Let's show you the feed underneath. You can see it's got the sort of standard Parker comb feed underneath there. As always you can see everything has been thoroughly cleaned and as I've said to you know many sort of uh, customers and comments that I've had um, when I restore my pens they don't just get a wipe over with a damp cloth everything gets disassembled everything gets fully cleaned even down to the feed and the feed channel itself so everything is thoroughly cleaned the size of the pen lovely nice and comfortable to hold even with my large hands it's a nice feel to this pen pardon yes yes don't be shouting I can hear you already you'd like to see the pen writing so what we'll do let's bring on some ink and what we do we simply undo the blind cap, we dip the nib in the ink and we press numerous times on this gold or brass coloured button. So let's do that. So in the ink, okay lots of bubbling going on which is uh, precisely what we want to, to see. Let's pop that to one side, bring on the little blind cap, screw that back on and let's, uh, let's bring on our trusty little pad. So let's see how it writes. So what we have is a back a do fold and this is an AF. And we're dating the pen nice and simply 1948. It's actually a nice writer, nice and smooth, and it's writing with, sorry that's a nine, it's writing actually with a right handed oblique nib. So we are actually getting, um, we are actually getting some line variation. So it's a chocolate colour as we said, as we said dating it 1948 and it's what we term as a AF filler or aluminium filler. And it's made in England. Let's do some figure of eights. And there we have it. It's writing absolutely lovely. So there you go. It's writing, I would say, with a, a medium line. With a, as I say, the, the nib is actually a right-handed oblique. So it's writing with a little bit of variation in the, in the line. So a very attractive nib to write with. So there, there we have it. So there's your writing sample. Let's pop that to one side. Let's bring the cap back on like so. And that's it, we'll keep it nice and short. So we've got a Parker Dufold AF, the earlier version with the anodized uh, gold or brass colored button, the AF filler, and in superb, fully restored and working order. So all we need to do now 
is find this gorgeous pen a new home so that somebody can enjoy it for many many years to come there we have it I hope you enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people don't be shy leave a comment below and have you subscribed if not why not subscribe now and if you possibly can please support my work but for now I'll just simply say bye bye for now